Hi hey everybody, kwa jina halisi naitwa Jean K. Ni mwigizaji kutoka Australia. Nimezaliwa Burundi, nikakulia Tanzania. Cops Enemy ni movie yangu. Ni movie ambao nimegaramia kila kitu. Um 2016 rafiki yangu amenipigia simu. Kanambia yeye ana mamangu anaumwa na dadangu anaumwa wote. Nikamuliza tangu lini afa kaniambia imeshapita miezi miwili sasa mimi nikamuuliza kwa nini kuniambia mapema akasema bwana mimi nitao kuambia lakini nimeshindwa kwa sababu umeshanisaidia mara nyingi umenisomesha na kukuambia tena ah, nilishindwa kabisa sasa basi akaniambia kwamba amesha uliza rafiki yake wote wamsaidie lakini akupata chochote. Afu mimi nikamwambia bwana hakuna shida nitakusaidia. Na pia huku tutakuombea. Then after that nikaanza nikaanza kujiuliza. Je, hii hii shida ambayo imemtokea ingetokea mtu wa hapa ingekuaje kwa sababu watu wa hapa wako tofauti sana basi hapo hapo nikaanza kuandika movie ya Cops Enemy na nipo every time niki take one step ahead kwenye hii script yangu nilikuwa natia scene nyingine nilikuwa natia mambo mengine mambo ya entertainment na mambo ambao yanatokea every day hapa Australia kama mambo ya drugs nikatia kila kitu. Sasa kwa hii movie nilikuwa na scene za kitanzania kama kumi hivi ambao zilitajiwa zifanyike in Tanzania na zingine hapa Australia na zingine uh, Nigeria. So nikaanza kuangalia kwamba nimefanya movie nyingi sana. Na movie yangu ya mwisho niliuza kwenye Iroko TV wakaipeleka wakaitia YouTube Baada hapo nikaanza kujiuliza If you want to do something so great kama unataka kufanya kitu kikubwa kama unataka kwenda kwenye level nyingine ambao hujaweka hujawahi kufikia lazima ufanye kitu ambao hujawahi kufanya So hapo sasa nikajiuliza sasa hii movie yangu Copsene ni ili iwe movie kubwa inatakiwa nifanye nini nikaongea na timu yangu nikaongea na management tukapatiana mawazo bas tukaamua tufanye kwanza scene za hapa Australia Hafu tutaenda Nigeria tufanye uh, tufanye hizo part nyingine Hafu tuziweke pamoja badala ya hapo nikaanza kwanza kutafuta um, camera crew ambao wataweza kufanya kazi nzuri wataweza kuniletea product ambao nahitaji nilikuwa na vision production tukapata ah uh, tukaanza kutafuta director ambao anaweza kutupatia kile ambacho kimeandikwa kwenye karatasi ya script half director tukampata baada ya hapo tulianza kutafuta ni jinsi gani tunaweza kufanya movie in Nigeria kwa kama sisi kwenye kundi yetu kwenye group yetu hajawahi kufika Nigeria sasa tukaanza kusema tukienda wote Nigeria ku shoot pale budget itajiongeza sana atukasema ah kwa nini tu, tu, tusimlete huo mtu kutoka Nigeria hapa Australia tufanyie hapa kwa sababu atakuwa ni mtu mmoja itakuwa ni gharama ya mtu mmoja lakini timu yote ikienda itakuwa ni budget kubwa sana itaongezeka sana basi tukaanza kuwasiliana na watu kutoka uh, Nigeria tuka organize kila kitu afu tukaanza ku apply for visa na kwa bahati nzuri Mungu ametusaidia sana tulipata shida sana kuhusu visa kwa sababu Australia 
ni nchi ngumu sana kuingia lakini Mungu ametusaidia Vemvika amefika akafika salama ilikuwa ni mwezi wa sita, saba. Vemvika ndo alifika Australia kufanya acting alipofika tulimchukua tukampeleka hotelini baada hapo tukaenda tukamuonyesha city and the next day tukaanza shooting yake shooting yake ilienda vizuri sana watu wote ambao walikuja kwenye shooting walipenda kinsi gani alikuwa anaigiza na mimi binafsi ni spend so much time with them vika nikamkuta watu wengi walikuwa wanaongea sana kuhusu yeye wakasema ah watu wakiwa masta wanasumbuana sana unakuta hawataka kufanya hicho hawataka kufanya hicho lakini haikuwa hivyo alikuwa different yani ni mtu ambao hata tukiwa kwenye on set na kitu sio kizuri ye mwenyewe kama kuna vitu in the background alikuwa anaenda na vitoa ili tupate kitu kizuri sana badala hapo Australia nzima wakaanza kusema wanataka kuona hii movie wanataka kuona hii movie lakini sisi tulikuwa na mipango ya kushuti zile scene nyingine za kitanzania ambao tulikuwa tumeshapanga. Lakini Australia walizidi kusema wataka kuona movie. Tulikuwa tumeshauza um, t-shirts ambazo zinasema Cops Enemy singlet za Cops Enemy, jumper za Cops Enemy. Watu wengi walikuwa wameshajua Cops Enemy. Na vile vile watu ambao wamecheza ndani ya hii movie walitaka kujua tumefikia wapi. Movie ikoje? basi tukaona hasa tufanye premiere hapa Australia tuwaonyeshe kidogo uh, what we've done so far tuka organize premiere kampia simu vemvika unaweza kurudi huko tufanye premiere watu wa, wa, watu wa kuone watu waone movie ambayo tumefanya akasema haina shida we organize everything with your team alafu nipigie simu nijulishe nini na nini basi nitakuja sasa timu yangu ikitukaanza kuorganize kila kitu. Vemvika akarudi hapa Australia mwezi wa 12 December 2017. Aliporudi tulifanya premiere. Watu wakaja kuangalia movie, wakaipenda movie. Lakini sisi hatukulidhika na movie. Kwa sababu tulijua the, uh, vision ya hii movie iko wapi tulijua ni nini na nini tunahitaji ili tuweze kubadilisha jinsi watu wanaangalia movie za African. yani kila siku kiangalia movie kama za Nigeria uh, unaona kuna utofauti mkubwa sana na movie za Hollywood na sisi hapa tunajua kwamba Hollywood haitakuja Afrika kubadilisha movie zetu au kubadilisha market yetu hata siku moja watakuja. Wanachofanya tu wanakuja Afrika, wana they steal our stories afu wanaenda kwao and they make that into an amazing film. Lakini sisi wa African, we can tuna uwezo wa kufanya film kama zile za Hollywood. All we need tufanye kazi pamoja. Bas tulifanya premier watu wakaja kuiangalia movie wakaipenda lakini sisi tulikuwa na ile vision yetu sema ah, movie bado haijakamilika na nakumbuka kuna siku tulikuwa kwenye city inaitwa Brisbane na Vemvika watu walikuwa wanaangalia movie afu mi na yetu tunakaa tuna tunabadilishana tuna, tuna mawazo kuhusu cop enemy ananiambia ewana ingekuwa vizuri pale ungefanya hivi na pale ungefanya hivi nikamwambia hivi vyote nimeshaviona na ni, laz, ni lazima ni hakikisha hii movie inatoka kama nilivyoiandika bas aliporudi Vemvika nikarudisha movie kwenye studio nikamwambia mtu ambaye ananifanyia audio nikamwambia nataka uhakikishe every sound is perfect kama ipo fe- perfect actors wote watakuja hapa wafanye ADR. Afu nikaenda kwa editor wa movie ambao amefanya editing za clips 
nikamwambia the same thing nahitaji everything to be perfect and then kwanza hapo timu yangu ilianza sasa kutafuta ni jinsi gani tunaweza kushoot hizo movies zetu za hizo clips zetu za Tanzania lakini ilikuwa ngumu kidogo kwa sababu ni nchi ambao nimekulia mi mwenyewe lakini uh, group yangu kuna wazungu wengi na hawajui anything to do with Tanzania afu mwezi wa wa tatu, 2018 nikaenda Tanzania nienda Tanzania kufanya movie na Duma lakini on the on my day off nilikuwa naangalia location nilikuwa naangalia jinsi watu watu wanaishi nilikuwa na chunguza directors nilikuwa na chunguza market in Tanzania niliporudi huko Australia nikaanza kuongea na connections zangu nikasema namtafuta director mzuri hapa in Tanzania tunatafuta uh, camera crew ambao inafanya vizuri hapa Tanzania after kafanya tukaweka notice tukaanza sasa kupata uh, uh, watu ambao wanafanya hii kazi from Tanzania tukaanza kukagua kila kitu kuangalia huyu amefanya kazi gani hii kazi koje je anaweza kutuletea project yetu iwe kama tunavyohitaji baada ya hapo tuli is it we took us like two months kufanya hivyo and then after that nikaambia kundi yetu sema sisi hatuwezi kwenda Tanzania sisi wote kufanya project moja tutashindwa na itaongeza budget again inge itakuwa vizuri tu fanye hii project ni ukule Tanzania tuwa tutume budget wao wafanye afu watuletee kama hatutaipenda tutawaambia wabadilishe hichi na hichi watabadilisha afu watatuma tena basi tukakubaliana after couple of months wakamaliza project wakatuletea and everything was good I think everything was very good. Uh, the group was very happy. But la hapo tukafanya trailer sasa. Tulipofanya trailer tukaanza kusema sasa ni lini trailer tutaiachia. Lakini hata hapo kuna kulikuwa mambo mengi ambayo tulikuwa hatujakamilisha kama kulikuwa some ADR ambao ah, we were not happy with. Hizo tukasema make sure you fix this one. And then after that nikakaa nikafikiria ili hii movie yetu iweze kuwa na big difference Niki, tukipeleka Tanzania watu waangalie yote iko on in, in English watu hawataielewa ah sasa so tukasema tufanyeje afu tukaamua tufanye translation kwa Kiswahili yani tu tukatuma pesa nyingine tena tukasema fanya translation uh, we toy from english to swahili ili tuwe na copy mbili mmoja ya kiswahili mmoja ya english ili watu waweze kuangalia watu ambao wana, wanaelewa kiingereza waweze kuangalia english part na watu ambao uh, wamezoea kiswahili sana wa, waweze kuangalia in swahili ili kila mtu aweze kuiona na at the same time tunataka kuepusha films za Afrika kwa sababu Afrika ni nchi ni ni, ni 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 our continent so in East Africa wote wanaongea Kiswahili wanaelewa Kiswahili so tunapotia cops enemy in Swahili it means that everyone who lives in the east, east side wote wataweza kuiona wataweza kuiangalia bas tulipomaliza kila kitu tukasema basi acha to find to release sasa on um, YouTube na tuanze promotion and that's when tulianza kutafuta ni nani from Tanzania ambao anaweza kutupatia prom- promotion ya hii trailer anaweza kutu, kusimamia cop enemy in Tanzania ili kila kitu kiende sawa tukaanza kuangalia um, 
uh, tuanza kuangalia on social medias tukaongea na watu ah, bahati nzuri tukapata uh, za maradi za maradi tuliongea tukaongea tukaongea akasema ah, project inaonekana vizuri tulimtumia trailer akaangalia akasema ah, tr- very good very good lakini alikuwa na, na one uh, one suggestion akasema nataka kwanza nione hii movie from the start to the end ili nijue jina langu naliweka wapi kwa sababu sometimes unafanya kitu kibaya na mtu akisimamia hicho kitu kibaya huo mtu na yeye anaonekana vibaya afmini kamuelewa sana nikamtumia movie yote akaangalia from the start to the end akasema movie naipenda sana kazi nitafanya Nipokubali sasa tukaanza kupanga press conference yani kila kitu ye akaanza kufanya Press conference wakafanya na sasa hivi tunajiandaa kuja Tanzania kufanya red carpet premiere ya Cops Enemy Red carpet ya Cops Enemy at the moment have just set a date about tailata ila kila kitu kiko kwenye mipango kitu kizuri akitaji haraka lazima tuchukue muda ili kila kitu tukiandae vizuri ili tuweze kuwaletea kitu kizuri kopseneni ilichukua muda mrefu sana kwa sababu ni, ni project kubwa sana ni, ni project ambao ilihitaji budget kubwa sana kama mlivyoona kwenye trailer kuna manyumba ya kifahari kuna magari tumetumikisha kuna the guns we used ambao ziko very expensive na kwenye inch kama hii ambao kila mtu hana uh, guns at home is very hard kuzipata ili uweze kuzitumikisha kwenye project kila kitu tulilipia na what i've learned from this movie ni kwamba ukifanya kitu kikubwa na matatizo yanakuwa makubwa sana. Yaani nilipokuwa nafanya hii project kuna sometimes i feel like i should just give up. Af- lakini kwa sababu nilikuwa napata uh, tatizo ku from nilikuwa napata usumbufu mkubwa sana from the actors, the camera crew, the team. Yaani everybody was on my back. Lakini nikasema Mungu ndo amenipatia hiki kipaji. Mungu ndo anajua kwa nini amenipatia haya mawazo ya hii movie Cop Cinema. Kwa nini ameniwezesha kuleta mstaa from Nigeria akaja huko Australia kufanya movie na sisi. Mungu ndo kila kitu. Kama Mungu amekubali nianze hii project hangependa niache in the middle. Bas nikaendelea kupambana na kila siku every day uh, nilikuwa nafanya kazi Monday to Saturday Saturday after work Sunday tuna shoot sometimes Friday and Thursday after work tuna shoot sometimes five days in a row i sleep for like two hours afu the next the next day na maliza kazi naenda kufanya shooting Namalizia na kushukuru watanzania wote ambao mmeweza kuangalia hii movie mkaishe na watu wengine. Na washukuru sana Tanzanian Media ambao mmewahi kuja ta, uh, kwenye press mkachukua kila kitu vizuri. Alafu mkatupromote on, uh, on your social medias and YouTube. Tunawashukuru sana huko. Na pia Tunashukuru watu wote kutoka nchi nyingine kama Burundi, Kenya, Congo, Rwanda, Australia ambao mmeangalia hii movie and mkai share with other people and everybody has been sharing the cover. Namshukuru pia Mungu ambao ameniwezesha kufanya hii movie kubwa kama hii. Namshukuru tena za maradi ambao ameweza kuandaa press conference 
na tena anaendelea kufanya big promotion uh, na tena ni yeye anatufanyia marketing in Tanzania ni yeye tumemwambia asimamie kila kitu wa Bacob Cinema in Tanzania namshukuru sana yani so every day unakuta una, una you meet people ambao they are willing to help you achieve your goals so zamaradi namshukuru sana na pia namshukuru sana uh, wema sepetu ni mwaktu mzuri sana yani tulipokuwa tuna edit his clip ah, tulishangaa sana wazungu hapa ambao hawajawahi kumuona na igiza kasema ah this this lady is very good she should be in hollywood and nikaanza kuambia u ataenda hollywood kwa sababu she actually speaks a very good english she speaks a very very good english so if she was to go in hollywood it would be just like that na pia namshukuru anti ezekiel ametumia muda wake alikuwa na mambo mengi ya kufanya lakini during the shooting times alikuwa tena anauma lakini amejitahidi akaja kwenye location akapiga scene yani everything was amazing mimi ni tu ni nguvu za Mungu zinatumika kwa sababu mambo ambao amefanyika sio mambo ambao mimi ningeweza kufanya peke yangu hapana ni Mungu ambao amesaidia uh, na tena namshukuru um, msungu kwa kubali kuwa kwa hii project namshukuru tena um, Nema Ndepanya ambao amefanya kazi nzuri sana ku direct um, this this uh, clips for Tanzania. Yaani huko Australia tulikuwa tumeshasema ah bana tuziache. Tuziache kwa sababu hatutaweza kupata kitu kizuri from that area. Ah, afu lakini tuko na acha tufanye kazi nao. Watafanya training hapa, watarudi pale, watafanya kazi nzuri. Don't worry na Mungu kasimamia kila kitu. Cuz sometimes as an actor you wake up in the morning, you're not having a good day, kuna watu wana stress every day lakini unaomba Mungu sema Mungu wewe ndio umenipatia kipaji. Nisaidie, niwezeshe. So siwezi kusahau. Tumshukuru sana Venvika hata kama siki lugha. Thank you Venvika. <laughs> Umefanya kitu kizuri sana. Umekuja huko Australia mara mbili. Yaani He movie is one movie that kila mtu lazima aone tumeitengenezea for our people target audience ni our people na vile vile tunataka kuepusha tunataka kusaidia kurusha bendela ya movies za Africa ili zipande juu na namalizia kumshukuru mtu ambao amesimama na sisi katika kila kitu from the start to the end quality ambao mnaona kwenye uh, screen editing ambao mnaona kwenye screen ni mtu mmoja anaitwa Young Martin from Australia ye ndo amesimamia kila kitu alikuwa ndo DOP wa hapa Australia Asanteni sana Mungu azidi kuwabariki and uh, tutaona na very soon this year for the movie premiere of Cop Cinema continue sharing it stay blessed